Hey, welcome back again now uh, to trainingright.com. We are doing our videos on uh, QTP, and uh, this is going to be the fifth video. And uh, today we'll be talking about uh, uh, the object spy. Uh, what is an object spy, and uh, what can it do for uh, your QTP scripts? Is what uh, we'll be looking at today. Um, looking back into the script which we have uh, been working on all these days. Uh, uh, it's pretty basic. Uh, it opens uh, eBay um, by uh, going from um, Internet Explorer and then it types uh, into the web edit uh, some text, waits for five seconds and then it uh, clicks on the search button and then it goes to the other page and then uh, reads uh, from there the output which we, we are gathering from the application. Okay, now. So far, so good. If I run this uh, script, you will see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, as you can see, it opens um, eBay.com. It types into uh, this web edit, uh, Chicago Bulls tickets, uh, clicks on this um, button, I guess, um, search button, and then it is, it is recording what is up here um, back into the application, and it prints out into this uh, window. and um, so what we will be looking at is um, how we could find out some properties of this uh, object. First of all, um, what is this object and how can we find out the properties of this object is what uh, we'll be looking into this uh, in this video. The way we can be finding out the properties of this particular object is uh, uh, by looking into what is called an object spy. Um, by the way, this is basically what we had captured back um, from the application, which is 1332. Um, alrighty. Now, if I need to find out uh, the properties of this object, uh, first of all, I'm going to go and then find out what is this object in the object repository. So if I open up my object repository, um, my object repository um, can, let me just have uh, the the browser and the application side by side so that um, we can try and highlight it um, whatever I need to find out in the application so um, here I am I have these things in here and if I need to find out like what where is this in the application I could uh, just highlight that and then I could uh, ask it to um, highlight in the application once I do that um, Uh, the selected object cannot be found in the application. Check uh, that the application is open uh, to the correct page or window and the object and its parents do not have a parameterized value. Okay, uh, this is this is the error which we are getting in here. Uh, that is because of the fact that I got multiple browsers open here and uh, uh, it doesn't like that. So um, here is my my only browser right now and in this browser let us see if it is going to highlight now back into the application and then show it to us in the application. Uh, there it is. Um, now, the, if you if you look into this, right, and I had selected that and then I, I said uh, highlight in the application. And when I do that, it basically highlights that in the application. Um, now, uh, this is how you would identify any particular object on a page. If I go back in here and uh, if I need to find out what this is uh, from my objects, I could go and then I could uh, just um, click on the object here. And uh, this is the web button object and this is that uh, web edit object. And if I say show me and there it is, right? So this is how you could go and then you could uh, find out what particular object um, uh, is where in the application and as you can see it is trying to highlight there in the application I'm going to do it one more time and uh, you would see that that's where it is highlighting in the application um, all right so far so good now let us say if I want to find out uh, some properties of this of this particular object right um, now how can I find out the properties of that object now if you if you go and take a look into this this area I am uh, I am highlighting let me just make some space so that um, we have both of them side by side. 
and I I am going to select from my I'm going to select that uh, button the web button from here right uh, just make sure that that's that's the one it is so I'm just quickly gonna uh, highlight and make sure that that's what I'm talking about okay as you can see that uh, flashing a little bit now let me try and find out more properties of this object the way I'm gonna find out more properties of that object is uh, I have the, uh, the the name of the object here I have the object which is a web button and these are some of the properties of that object the properties uh, which um, are description properties which are uh, shown here is a uh, type name and HTML tag now what other properties can I um, no, if at all I need to know about this particular object, how can I know that? For that, I have to go and then make use of what is called an object spy. Uh, object spy, uh, as any spy would do, is uh, it's going to go and then get more details about the object which you oh, would select, right? So let's see how we can do that. So I'm going to click on my object spy. That is going to bring up uh, this window. And in this window, I want to highlight the fact that uh, uh, here we have properties and here we have values. Properties and values, right now they are empty, but uh, once I say that, show me the properties and values of the object which I select, which I select, then it is going to show me that. So I could be moving in the browser on different objects, but if I need to um to target a particular object then i need to click on that object in the browser so let's get started i do that it will show me my browser and it see uh this is the image right now and uh if you see in the objects pie in the properties and values we see you know a lot of properties and a lot of values if i move away from there and then go to this guy uh right now um we can go here and it is it is showing me the properties of that if i go up here it is going to show me the properties of that if i go here it is going to show me the the properties of that so um now if i need to know some of the properties of any particular object um one more time how do i do it um i'm just gonna x out of here and then show it to you one more time uh the way i'm gonna do that is if I need to find out the properties of any particular object, I will have my browser up here, and then uh, uh, that should be the only browser which is which is going to be open. And then, in order for me to find out some of the properties of this object, right? How do I, you know, how do I do that? For that, I have to go and then bring in the object spy. When the object spy window comes up, uh, that window I should make, um, you know, arrange it because. Uh, when I move the window over here, I, I I make some space here for the browser to show up. And then once the browser comes up, what basically we are going to do is when I click on that, when the browser comes up, uh, I could again highlight or hover uh, with my mouse over any particular object. And, and this is where you would see all the properties and values, right? Okay, so let's do that. Uh, here Here I am. And I want to find out again some of the properties of this object, right? So first of all, what object it, it, it is? So if I click on that, it tells me that the object is web edit, um, and this is these are the properties of that of that object. Some of the properties of that object um, are um, it is HTML ID, right? HTML tag, inner HTML, inner text. Um, so these these are some of the properties of the name is underscore nkw now if i that's that's what are some of the properties of that object right now if let's say if i need to if i need to use these properties if i need to use these properties in my in my code i could do that very easily by by referring to this particular object and then uh, use what is called the get ro property. This is the get ro property. And inside the get ro property, this is the runtime object property. And I could use any one of these, these properties. And it will give me the value here. So let's say if I, if I go in there and if I say 
give me the name of this object give me the name of this object uh, name is a property name is a property so give me the name of this object uh, um, and then uh, basically I could say that um, here it is uh, here it is uh, so I could say uh, browser eBay browser page web element and then give the name or was that a web element that was not a web element that was a web edit so web edit and then and then the name of the web edit dot get ro properties and whatever property i wanted to i could have given that and then that would would it will give me the uh runtime that particular object property whatever property i'm looking for and that's how you would get the property so uh, object file helps you in reading or confirming the different um, properties of of any particular object all right okay in our uh, next video what we are going to do is we are going to clean up this code a little bit by introducing to what is called uh, uh, variables uh, so rather than having these things in here I'm going to be declaring variables uh, and then I'm going to be putting the values in that variable so I will just get started so I would say dim str in uh, browser um, and the next one is dim str url now I have declared two variables and I am going to assign some values into two, two variables so I'm going to say str um, browser um, equals the value which I'm going to be putting in here is I explore dot um dot exe and uh, the next one is going to be str url equals and i'm going to say in there http colon um forward slash forward slash www ebay dot com now that i have declared two variables and i have assigned some values to those two variables i could replace this line of code i'm just going to comment this line of code um in rewrite that line of code by saying that um, system system util uh, dot and run um, and in place of this i explore i could use the variable now which is str browser browser um, and comma in place of the next uh, string which was the uh, path or the address of uh, my web app which I need to be testing I could put the str the variable which is str URL now that that basically should be the case for the rest of the input parameters because this is the input to uh, the web edit so this uh, again could be replaced um, um, and basically uh down the road in our future videos rather than hard coding that and assigning it to the variables that information should be read from a database or that information should be read from an external data source and uh, that is called uh, parameterization of uh, the data meaning that we will be reading the data from an external source which could be an excel spreadsheet or it could be a database or uh, it could be the data which is sitting in a xml data document well, uh, that's uh, what I just wanted to show you in this video and in, in our future videos we'll be talking a lot about uh, how to get connected to a database or how we draw data from an external data source which again could be Excel, data, SQL Server database, Access database or for that matter any relational database management system which would be Oracle, Sybase, whatever. So in my future videos I'll be showing you how to do that. Uh, well, thank you again for being a part of this video, and then uh, we hope to see you back in another video. Until then, take care.